hello and welcome back to a new video in spring boot so in previous video we have created uh, various apis where we covered all the crud operations so this video is very specific about uh, two uh, one of the important annotations uh, one is at the rate request parameter and another annotation is at the rate path variable so uh, my application has started on 9090 port and i have created API to get all the customers. So once I hit this API, so we get all the uh, available customers that are into our database. But uh, consider a situation where I have to get only one customer. Like here you can see uh, I am getting all the customers, but there might be the situation where I have to get only one customer. So to handle that, uh, there is annotation uh, where which we can use and we can pass ID of that customer and we can get that uh, customer from the database. So at the rate request parameter, it is used to take the uh, query parameters from the URL and uh, at the rate path variable is used to associate one value from that URI template. So I am not much interested in making you understand this concept theoretically, but I am more interested in showing you how practically you can use these two annotation to get your work done. So our basic work that we need to do is we have to pass ID to our uh, controller and using that ID, we have to get customer for that ID. Let's take example of the first API that get customer using ID request parameter zoom in for you so that it appears better so in this api what we are doing we have created one endpoint and i have used this request parameter name in this and path variable uh, so that you can identify which request is coming for which and i have used annotation request parameter id in the same way you can also write this code in your own program so i am using this id to get the customer and for getting the customer we have already done previously so in previous get api we were getting all cust all customers through this like this we are using customer repository to find all the customers in jp repository we had this method find all similarly we have in jp repository find by id method where i am passing id but since it returned optional that's why i am using dot get method again so i'll call this api in postman so initially if I don't supply ID, you can see this is our URL. So how, how do we send data that is ID through the parameters? So you have already seen we used to use body part to uh, give our request body data. But here we, we are not using body part for request parameter annotation, but we are passing our data through this param section and where in key and value you have to pass your data. So my key is ID. You can see here ID is there and value is 15. So whatever customer existing for that ID, we can get it. So let's let me pass 15. So yes, we have uh, one customer with ID 15. So we'll check how many customers with what ID we are having. So we can see that ID 1001 is there, 1002 is there. So let me check for 1001. So we can see that with ID 1001, our customer is coming. Now we'll talk about this path variable. You can see in Postman, you can see what kind of URL it getting structured there when we are using request parameter and we are when we are passing data through these parameters. So you can see that there is one question mark and after that it is taking that ID. So you do not have to construct this URL, it will be constructed automatically. And if you are a UI developer, and if you want to use request parameter in backend and if you want to use this uh, API call in front end, then you can use form data. You can use form data to pass your data to it. So you have seen for a request parameter. Now we'll see for path variable. Uh, this implementation, you can see that uh, both are similar at the rate request parameter implementation for getting a customer and at the rate uh, path variable, both are similar. So this in path variable, we are binding one value here. You can see that in the URI template, we are binding one value that is ID. So this is the theoretical difference, but practically how it works, I'll show you. So in Postman, you have seen that this is the structure of our request parameter URL. Our other URL is there where you can see there is no question mark. 
so after slash you can bind any value to it and that result you will get there is no need to pass anything in body on parameter section you can directly pass in your url so i am you can see here that i am passing 1001 sorry 1001 as my id and if the uh, customer is existing with that id will get the customer so yes we are getting the customer and let's try with the other value where the customer doesn't exist so we are getting 500 uh, error this we can handle in our code and we can uh, throw exception for this whatever way you want to handle but for now uh, we are just concentrating on how to use path variable and how to use request parameter so we have seen that there is question mark in request parameter and this is passed as a query parameter but in path variable you just have to give the value and it will bind automatically internally in the code so again let me test for another id so if i test for 15 yes it is giving the result and in the code section you can see that i have written the code for path variable this this part is really important where you have to bind it so this is the point where this value will be mapped to our code and this id will be supplied to this method argument id here and again this will be mapped to this part where i am getting one customer using that id so that is all for this video my dear friends in next video i am going to explain you uh, very important annotations that we use in a spring boot and i am also going to explain you various layers in a spring boot application that is controller layer that is service layer repository layer and i am also going to explain uh, various standard coding practices that we will be following after this uh, lecture so till now whatever you learnt that was uh, basics of the spring boot and it covered lot of like a huge part of your course and in the next section whatever we will be covering we will be basically concentrating on creating a spring boot projects so thank you for watching this video my dear friends stay happy and keep learning